Hi, and welcome to Baz Bytes. My name is Matt Okuma. I'm a systems architect at Cisco. And in this short video today, I'm going to cover a really neat feature within our SD-WAN uh, VIP Tele portfolio, and that is the feature called packet deduplication. And exactly like it says, this feature is really to help with uh, packet loss on your WAN links. So the way that the feature works at a high level is, say you have two WAN links and um, you want to ensure a uh, very critical traffic like voice or video or maybe ERP, med uh, medical processing data, etc. Your very critical data is never affected when there's a WAN outage, WAN loss, or a partial WAN outage due to blackout or, or severe packet loss. This allows for the traffic to be replicated over all the available links that you have. So I'm going to walk you through how to enable the policy of that feature and actually show you what it looks like. So to begin with, I'm just going to show you my lab topology here. And we're going to be focusing in on <clears throat> this host here. It's on VPN 10, uh, sending traffic to this host in a, a simulated data center on VPN 10. And its IP is 1010.40.2 right here. So I'm going to open the interface here just so you could see, um, open the interface here on this uh, V-Edge so you could see it. And I'm just going to show you a simple command called show tunnel statistics, packet deduplication. And what you're going to see here is right now there's no packet deduplication going on um, and uh, false, it's not capable, capable here. I'm going to ping that host just to show <clears throat> rapidly ping it here just to show you uh, with the rapid command 100 just to show you that um, we have good connectivity there with zero packet loss. I also in this environment here have this WAN in emulator. I'm going to open it and I'm going to inject some let's say 20% packet loss here. So now we have 20% packet loss and if I do that again, you're going to see here that we're going to get that loss, and we're seeing that loss here, that 20% packet loss. So while that runs, let me just jump over to vManage and walk you through how um, to create that policy for packet deduplication. So let's take a look at the policy which I have created here, which we're going to leverage. So I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to edit this policy so you could take a look at it with me. So I give it a policy name, packet deduplication final. I'm going to click on the traffic data here. Um, I've defined, if we look at this uh, remote site or the site list here, if you look at it, so I'm defining the traffic data. I'm defining, I want all my remote sites, so I have all the remote site IDs here 10, 20, and 30. And I'm saying um, I'm selecting VPN 10, um, VPN 10 there. So if I click the traffic rules and I click on traffic data, you'll see my packet deduplication here. And let's just uh, take a look at this packet deduplication rule. So it's a custom rule that I created. So I added this rule. And if you look at what I created here, so I have a destination prefix list, and this is basically the prefix. That I'm going to be going to it, and that is uh, which we highlighted over here as 101040.x basically. So I'm just defining one for this test that's in that packet deduplication prefix list. And then I just created an action, and under loss correction, I selected packet deduplication. There's also several, I think two other options there the forward uh, error correction, some others. So by default, Packet deduplication is going to replicate all traffic over any available in the over the available links. Um, the forward error correction is a newer feature which will allow you to only send packets that are lost. So really trying to optimize uh, that connection there. So th that is available. But today I'm going to be testing just packet deduplication. So now that the latency is there, let's just go back to the policy itself. And once it's created, you're just going to activate that policy. So this will activate the uh, deduplication policy, the packet deduplication, and it'll push it to the vSmart. So let's wait here while this completes. A 
It'll be done in just a second here. So now it's complete. So I'm gonna go back over to the topology here and I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna run that rapid ping. And what you'll notice, the loss still uh, to the host appears that it's happening. But what I'm gonna show you in a second here after this completes, when we look at the show packet deduplication, you'll actually see that that 100 packets I sent was actually uh, deduplicated on those different links to the other sites. So very cool. You can see in this command simply that we're, we're replicating those packets over the other connections that we have. So if I do that one more time, you know, we'll see 200 packets now. So this is finish. We'll look at that command again. You see there now we have 200 packets that we've duplicated. So very, very easy feature, feature to implement. You might get a little bit more granular on what you actually subject the packet deduplication, but this is an easy way to ensure that your most critical services are not impacted if there's any loss on any of your WAN links. Uh, very exciting uh, feature to see and use. So. Again, thank you for taking the time today to watch this short video on uh, one of the new features, uh, newer features in the Viptela platform called Packet Deduplication. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune into our channel and watch other uh, Bazbytes in the future. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.